let's jump right in! What's going on you guys, my name is Chris, and welcome back to Puck Hunt Gaming. First things first, thank you again to absolutely everybody who has liked and commented and subscribed to this channel over the course of the first few videos. It's been so cool getting a chance to reconnect with old friends and make new friends in this game collecting space. So really guys, thank you so, so much for all of your support so far. And today we're gonna give a super special subscriber shout out to my good friend, Ashley. She's been a wonderful supporter of mine as I got this channel off the ground and even picked me up this really cool Philadelphia Flyers Philly cheesesteak shirt. Thank you, Ashley, so much for all your support and for being a wonderful friend. So what are we doing here today? Today we're gonna do a console deep dive. I'm really streaky in the way that I like to pick up games. You saw that last week when I picked up a whole bunch of DS games, but this week I picked up a whole bunch of hockey games for one console only, the Super Nintendo. So I thought, why not show off the pickups I did make? I'll let you know which ones I don't have yet, and we'll give kind of an overall picture of what the hockey scene is like on the Super Nintendo. Let's jump right in. So by my count, in the North American Super Nintendo library, there are 15 hockey titles spanning from 1992 to about 1998. And since there's only 15 games for the Super Nintendo as far as hockey is concerned, it's made it pretty easy to target specific games, and I've made it pretty far here without having to spend too, too much money. There is an unbelievable variety of hockey games available on the Super Nintendo. Among those 15 titles available, there are a couple of oddballs, a few rarities, and of course, the emergence of the EA Hockey franchise. So today I'm gonna share with you all of my pickups I've made so far as far as hockey games go on the Super Nintendo. I've made a handful of them. Some of them are cartridge only, but I got a handful that are nice and in their box too, and not too, too many left to complete the console collection. So without any further ado, let me jump right into it here. The first one I've got, I'm gonna show the cartridges first, and then I'll move into the cooler stuff uh, with a little bit of cardboard. So we've got this one right here. It's called Super Slapshot. We got one of my favorites. You know it well, it's NHL 94. Still looking to get that one in its box for sure. And we've got Brett Hull Hockey 95. Not the best label on that one, but still happy to add it to the collection. And the last cartridge, I only have four cartridges, the rest are boxed up, and this is NHL 97. I got all four of these cartridges from one individual on my local Facebook Marketplace. I went for a little drive one Sunday afternoon and picked all of those up. He had priced these games through price charting and said 20% off price charting and they're yours. Well, luckily these were super undervalued on price charting. So I got a great deal on those four cartridges to start my Super Nintendo hockey collection. And now on to the cool stuff. We're gonna look at what I've got in its box. And we'll start with the first ever hockey game for the Super Nintendo, we've got NHL PA Hockey 93. So you can tell this one is in a bit of a rough shape. You can see the edges on the box, not super great, but hey, it's got its manual and the cartridge in there as well, trying to get it to catch the light. You won't see it, it's all in there. And I got a really good deal on this from a local game store. I also picked up this. This one is in amazing shape. This is Stanley Cup, NHL Stanley Cup, La Version Bilang for you French folks out there. Really happy to get this one. And again, this is in incredible condition. No sticker wear. No nothing, no box crushing. This is about as nice as you expect a Super Nintendo box to look after all those years. Super excited to get that. And I couldn't collect for the Super Nintendo without getting the greatest hockey video game of all time in my eyes, NHL 95. I'm way more familiar with this title on, this, on the Sega Genesis, rather. I don't know how much I had played this before making my top five hockey games uh, video earlier here on this channel. This one, unfortunately, is missing. Is missing its tray and a manual, but still, I managed to pick it up at a good price. If you're sitting on an NHL 95 SNES manual, please get in touch with me. I'd love to complete that one. Same with this. It's NHL 96. 
Same deal, this one a lot nicer than NHL 95 in terms of its condition. But again, I don't wanna open it up because the flaps are super minty. Uh, but this one is also missing its manual, but either way, I will take a high quality box any day. And the last boxed game I have here for Super Nintendo, and this one's a little bit of a rarity and has a cool story to it. This one is Pro Sport Hockey. So as you can see on the front, it has the NHLPA, oh, other side, NHLPA license, which means you got to play as your favorite NHL players, uh, but did not get to use the teams. It did not have an NHL license. So no teams and logos in here in this game. And this is really interesting. There's also a version of this for the original NES that is super expensive. And we'll touch on that in a video coming up. So let's take another look back at the checklist. How many have I got and how many do I have left? So that's four cartridge only games. I've got five in the box. So that's nine of the 15 total Super Nintendo hockey games already in the collection. And I'm sure I'm gonna be working real hard here over the course of the next few weeks to try and complete that out. So what ones do I have left? First off, I have Hit the Ice, an arcade port. It runs a little slow on the Super Nintendo, but I'm gonna be super excited once I add that one to the collection. It's gonna be a little bit pricier too, but that's not gonna stop me from wanting to add it to the collection. Also, I've gotta pick up Brett Hull Hockey. I've got the 95 one you saw just moments ago, but there were two Brett Hull games for the Super Nintendo, and I've still gotta get the other one. We've also got ESPN National Hockey Night. I suppose this could be considered the predecessor to the NHL 2K series that ESPN continued on uh, to newer consoles, but still gotta pick this one up. We've also gotta get Wayne Gretzky and the NHLPA All-Stars. I have zero experience with this one, but it's a hockey game, so we're going to be adding it to the collection. We've also gotta get NHL 98, which has become quite scarce. Common to find in just the cartridge, but you might have to pay through your teeth to get one complete in box, so that means I will be paying through my teeth to probably get one in its box. And the last one I'll have to add to the collection, it's the real oddball of the bunch, Street Hockey 95. Now, as someone who played a whole lot of street hockey in 1995, I'm really interested to see how they make street hockey into a video game. So I'm pumped to try to add that one. That might be the biggest one on the SNES want list right now. Please let me know if you've got a copy. And folks, that's gonna do it here for Puck Hunt Gaming today. Thank you all again so much for joining me. Please hit that subscribe button down below. I'll give you a second to do that right now. Okay, thank you so much for subscribing. My name is Chris, thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you next time. Arr.